Hi, this is Stephen Gray, and I'm here with the mindset of a trailblazer. This is my story, telling you a little bit about what's been going on and how the Lord's been uh, working in my life and, and over the last few years. And so, this is part 16 of this message. And you know, after last year, it was pretty amazing because after what God did in the Feast of Trumpets and brought all those thousands of people to hear the message. Um, I really prayed. I really prayed to God because now we really wanted to take this international. We really wanted to get the ministry growing. You know, we went from just my family honoring the Sabbath day and honoring the commandments based on what we saw in Scripture, you know, in 2010. You know, just our little family, we left our old church and didn't really know where to go. And we uh, started honoring it by faith. And then, you know, a few people got baptized and the ministry grew to about 10 or 11, maybe 12 people. And then, of course, pastors in India started seeing it, and then Africa, and then last year in 2017, you know, God really opened the floodgates. Actually, 2018, He opened the floodgates and really, you know, taught it to over 5,000 people. And so, right after the Feast of Tabernacles, you know, I really prayed about it. I said, God, really let me uh, get this message worldwide. You know, I don't know how many people you want to, to see this, but I know that you want, you know, the 144,000 the dead in Christ that are going to rise to go meet you in the air, plus the ones that are alive and remain to go meet you. And so, Father, I said, please send me. Do whatever you need to do to get me to this, this message worldwide. And so he did. And it was cool because this, a woman contacted me out of the blue. I hadn't talked to her in about seven years. And she said, Stephen, I want you to come speak at our international um, training out in Thailand. So I said, okay, I did. And I went to Thailand and I prepared my message. And it was really cool because there was all these successful business owners millionaires and billionaires in the room and I got up there and spoke and you know I was the only sales trainer and I actually had God's message and my, my vision and the ministry in that message and Thailand is a I think it's a Buddhist country but it really didn't matter to me I'm still gonna preach Jesus name right there from the front of the room and, and it was really cool because a lot of people really appreciated the message and really um, you know really God was glorified in, in that in that land but when I came home, I met a guy, and we started working some things in the business, and my business started to grow. And because of that, you know, I was able to generate a lot more income that year. And it was really cool because my business was able to change and grow from just some, from some of the contacts I met out in Thailand. And it was really awesome because we were able to generate a lot of a business from that. And that money, we were able to take it and use it for our business, I, you know, for the ministry. And it was really cool because going to Thailand, it was a, definitely a faith issue. I literally had $100 in my bank account when we went out there. We, were, we had given every dime we had to our, the Feast of Trumpets that year. But when we went to Thailand, you know, I went by faith. I literally had 100 bucks going overseas like that. Had no cash, no spending money. But, you know, I, I trusted God. I trusted God that he would take care of us. And it was really cool because when we got there, you know, God blessed it and, and the business grew. And so for the rest of that year, beginning of 2019, you know, the Lord, you know, did some uh, amazing things again. He started really growing the ministry again. And really hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pastors in India, hundreds of pastors in Africa started seeing this message and started coming to the faith. And, and the brothers in India and Africa, we, we built such a great bond that year because Man, it was just so awesome to watch so many children and orphans from India and Africa and Kenya and Uganda and Nigeria and different places over there. The message was just going and just going and going and going. And every single night, every single day, I would get on Facebook and I would post and I would post and people would see the message and they'd hear the message and they would respond to the message. And so many more people every single month was coming and started honoring the Sabbath. And it was really cool because to watch people start, you know, going amen to the Sabbath, because I would post this picture up there about the Sabbath day. And people would, you know, start to see it and start to respond to it. Now, I wasn't getting as many debates about the Sabbath anymore. People were starting to see it. And people were like, thank you so much for sending us this message. And thank you so much for um, teaching us about the Sabbath. And people were coming, individuals and some people would still have debates or whatever, and we'd get into the, the question and answering, and i start showing it to them. And people around the country, Sarai um, and her mom, you know, got baptized. Sarai got baptized, and then her mom um, uh, was there and started honoring the Sabbath with us. I think she got baptized as well. They both got baptized the same day. 
And then, you know, her husband got baptized and, and there was other people around the country started getting baptized all around the country and around the United States and in Africa and India. And, and God just started, you know, again, started blossoming that. And, you know, it was just such an amazing time. And, I, and then, you know, the end of the year came and God did it again. He said, okay, we're about to do something even more amazing. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, you just brought all these thousands of people to know this message. You just brought all these people to understanding the commandments, understanding the Sabbath day. What, what more could you do? But again, I can't wait to take you to the next video because, you know, God brought this to a head. And he, and he absolutely was bringing his people um, to his covenant. And so he did. So I'm going to tell you exactly what he did here in a second. But it was pretty unbelievable how once we got on God's calendar... And he put us onto the Feast of Trumpets and allowed us to, to see what that meaning was. And, and this big old, uh, you know, moon goes by, <laughs> and this eclipse. It was pretty unbelievable, you know, that, that year. But what happens next is nothing short of amazing. So, you know, make sure you click the bell and, and ring it and, and subscribe to us so that, you know, we can get you all the messages here. But I appreciate you, you listening to our messages.